Hello all, it's Braveheart here, or to my family and friends, known as Katie, and um, do a lot of long distance hiking. And a lot of people ask, what do you carry? How do you manage all of your gear? So I decided to make a series of short videos that uh, share with you what gear I use and why I use it. And um, so here it goes. This first one is on my shelter and my sleeping system. And so for my shelter, I am currently using the Nemo One Person Hornet Elite Tent. And the, and the stakes that I use with it are not the ones that came with it, but they are made by Nemo and they're their ultralight uh, stakes. And they look like this. I have a few that are bent, and, but they still get the job done and can stake out the tent, so I'm not too worried about them. They just don't look that pretty. One of the things I like about this tent uh, setup also is the pole system with it can can come out of here and you can carry it separately and when you do this bag has a nice cinch here where you can cinch it down to make this smaller more compact so it can fit in the pack the way you would like for it to fit in your pack so um, I've used this tent for over a thousand miles on the PCT and it served me well and I was very happy with it the weight on this comes in at one pound nine point three ounces to be exact and so um, it's under two pounds which is important and changing out the stakes made it a little lighter weight so I've enjoyed the shelter and I think you would also uh, but everybody's got to find what works best for them in regards to the ground cloth the footprint that comes with it it comes in at 5.6 ounces I think it is pretty heavy or heavy for a footprint and it's expensive I had my husband cut me a piece of Tyvek, he so nicely did so, uh, to the same dimensions of the footprint. This came in at 3.7 ounces, and I'm not going to feel bad if this has to be replaced at some point, and I didn't pay $40 for it, like the footprint that comes with it. And um, so I use this not only as my ground cloth, but during the day I'll take this out and lay it up if I want to take a, a quick rest, or at lunchtime where I can sit on the ground and um, not get my clothes too dirty and things like that. So it kind of doubles up as a ground cloth and a, a sitting cloth or if I want to take a, a longer rest. So it works out good. On super hot days on the PCT, I would actually take a nap um, around two or three when it was the hottest time of the day. That way I could hike later into the night and feel well rested and not drained from all the sun. Don't think that's gonna be a problem on the AT, but this has been a, a good piece of gear to have. So that's my shelter setup. So in regards to my sleeping system, one of the things that I have um, that some people may consider a luxury item is um, a pillow. And I use the X-Ped. It, it's inflatable. I can, it, this last, has lasted me. I've had this for probably 2,000 miles of hiking. So it's lasted and held up well. And you can blow it up to the, to the thickness that is comfortable for you, depending on your terrain and where you're sitting. And it rolls up very small and nice and fits nicely in the top of my uh, bag that my Thermarest is in. So that's what's the next piece is my Thermarest. I'm doing something a little different this year or for this hike on the, for the Thermarest. In the past, I've used the Thermarest Neo Air and I've used the women's version, which is 20 inches wide and I, I forgot how long, like 66. 68 inches, something like that, which was a good length, and I like that, but I really wanted a wider um, sleeping pad. So I ordered the the, ne the Neo Air Thermarest X Lite in the wide, and it has a new valve locking system, so we'll see how that works. Uh, it in, uh, well, But what I did is I didn't need all the length. This came in pretty long, and so what I did is I actually cut it and resealed it, the length that I like so I think this is about uh, 68 inches like the previous one that I had um, weight wise the previous one that I've used was 12 ounces this one with it trimmed down but with a wider width comes in at 14.6 ounces and I am willing to carry the extra 2.6 ounces because I think I'm going to actually sleep better because I am a side sleeper and I just need that extra width if it's not making a big difference, then um, I'll switch it out on one of my resupplies and um, see if I can't have my, my old one sent to me. But I'm hopeful that I'm going to 
be able to sleep more comfortably on my side using this wider width. So if you um, are interested in how to shorten your thermo rest, there are quite a few videos on YouTube that will show you how to do it. That's where I learned how to do it and it worked. I have tested it by sleeping on it and I have tested it in water and it's held. So um, just an idea. The um, next thing in my sleeping system is my uh, sleeping bag. And I use the Enlighten Equipment Revelation Quilt, which as you can see, um, you can zip it here and draw it up here and have a, a foot box. And so in my foot box, if it's cold, I will put my fuel in there and I will also put my power bank to keep those as warm as possible. And um, sometimes I put my clothes bag in there as well so that it, um, the clothes stay warm when I gotta put them back on the next morning. Um, I love this quilt. I will never go back to a traditional sleeping bag. The quilt is the way to go. I feel like it keeps me warmer. There have been times that I've been hiking and um, been in an area where there were other people that had to camp in this, well, I had to camp in the same area. They were cold, I was not. And I, I attribute that to one of the, them is this having this bag. This bag, the particular one I got, um, I, I by height, I'm 5'6", so it said that I would need a short bag, but I did get a, a regular length bag because I wanted to be able to pull it up um, close to over my head if I wanted to. I do sleep kind of in the fetal position so I could pull it up over. If I stretch out, it still comes up to my neck. And so it, it has worked out great for me having that length. The other thing is my bag is to 10 degrees and um, so that is something that I, I, I kind of sleep cold, so I wanted to go with a more, uh, a bag that will provide me more warmth. And this bag weighed in at 25.45, according to the factory. They marked it on the, the thing that they sent me, uh, that they sent the storage bag that they sent me to keep it in. Um, the other thing that I've got that is new in the past, I've used a compression sack for my sleeping pad and um, it compresses it down to about the size of a volleyball, which is a really good size. It is a, a down quilt. Um, I, um, this time I'm going with a Hyperlite dry bag and I want to be able to keep it dry. I want to make sure it stays dry on the AT and um, I've practiced with it and I can compress it down pretty small. It gets about this big when I'm done and so it fits nicely in my pack and it's got a roll top to it and then I can secure it with a clip. This weighs in at a whopping 1.1 ounce so in it so it's less weight than the traditional compression sack which is good. The last item I want to share with you in this video um, is my sit pad and you may wonder why I consider this part of my sleeping system. So this sit pad may be featured in almost all the videos, who knows, because it's what I call the best ounce I carry. It weighs in at one ounce, and at night when I'm sleeping, I like, if the ground is uneven, I can use this to place it underneath the edge of the sleeping pad to level the ground. And because it folds up and it's accordion like this, I can choose a variety of widths that will best suit what I need, and it helps level out the ground. Sometimes I need just a little extra more under my head, so I'll slide it under the, the head part of my sleeping pad to provide a little more lift, and that works out great. This has just, um, to me, is just one of the greatest things there is, so that's why I consider it part of my sleeping system, because I do use it um, sometimes to help level out the ground. Also, as I said earlier, if I when I took a siesta during the day when it was super hot, like 100 degrees, um, I would throw out my Tyvek, I would get this out and use it as a pillow, and I was good to go. So lots of um, uses for the sit pad. So I hope you found this, this video informative and helpful to you as you start looking at gear or trying to decide what best is for you. Everyone has their likes and dislikes, so this is not the definitive list on what you should or shouldn't have, it's just what I like. And um, if you like this video, I'd ask you to Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and happy trails and happy hiking to all.